Dear Rita, I was ever so pleased to see you so well yesterday. I think you've been marvellous. I never believed that I should be so thrilled with Simon. He's great. You've no idea how lost I feel here in a strange town among strangers. I missed you this morning in the shop and I was taking stock of yesterday's goods. You know I'm beginning to realise how useful you are. I have some bad news. My Coventry relations had a very bad raid last night. We can get no news of them at all. I was extremely worried about you last night. We had very many planes going over towards Birmingham. There were some bombs dropped and had continuous gunfire from eight till one. I've never heard it so bad. I couldn't sleep thinking about you both. Was it very bad? Did it upset Simon? I hope they'll leave you alone tonight. How have you felt today? Have you any pain? You looked fine yesterday. How's his lordship? Isn't he great? I think I'll get some of that nice nursery paper with animals and so forth on it. I'll do his room before Christmas. Rita darling, I'm so proud of you. I think you've been great all through. I wish you were here. I feel so lost and fed up. Please remember, I love you how many more times more than I did a week ago. Simon has made me realise, even more than ever before, what a great wife I've got. See you Sunday. Ever so much love. Esther. My darling Esther. I expect you were very worried about the raid last night, so I thought I'd write and tell you that we are quite safe and well. I think it must have been a pretty bad one, but I think Coventry got the worst of it. We had the warning about half past seven, and the all clear didn't go until six in the morning. The planes were going over till half past five and the barrage was terrific. I stayed upstairs until one o'clock, but I couldn't go to sleep, and I guessed you would rather I was in the shelter, so I asked them to take me down. It was much less noisy down there, and I managed to go to sleep. It was lovely to see you yesterday, darling. It seems a dreadfully long time until Sunday, but I expect it'll go soon. Take care of yourself and don't work too hard. Come as early as you can on Sunday, then you can stay a long time. All my love, sweetheart, and I'm sure Simon sends his love too. Till Sunday. Rita. My darling wife, I'm very sorry indeed to disappoint you by not coming over to see you tonight. But remember I did my best and am nearly in tears because I failed. Was the air raid very bad on Monday night? I've heard they've had it very bad in Birmingham. We had three bombs in Pershure itself at 2.30 in the morning. I think he was on his way home. I don't think there was much damage. If the raids get bad, I'll try to get you home next Sunday, in spite of the moving. Perhaps you could stay at Sherwood's. Do you remember this might last a week? I do feel annoyed not being able to see you. I'm going to have one of my bad tempers, I'm sure. How have you felt today? How oh, Simon? I hope he's been good. Thanks for your lovely letters this morning. I really had a weep after I read it. Silly of me, wasn't it? Darling, please remember that I love you terribly. And I'm really upset not to see you tonight. Ever so much love, Hester.
Darling Hester, I'm writing this in case I don't hear from you this morning that you're coming tonight. Then I'll be sure that you get it by Thursday morning. Did you get home quite safely on Sunday? Oh, you must have done, because you rang up yesterday, didn't you? I asked Gracie whether you were coming today, but she said no. So maybe I shall hear from you this morning. I got your letter yesterday, and it cheered me up. You write such jolly letters. Dr. Starson says Simon is a fine little boy. They're going to ask him if I can have my stitch out today. Then I think I shall be able to get out of bed. I miss you so much. A hot water bottle isn't a very good substitute for a husband. All my love always, Rita. My darling Rita, I was awfully fed up at not seeing you last night, and even more so now at your instructions not to come by train, but probably be, it is trying to do the, the impossible, especially with the raids on. Was the raid last night very bad? We had a warning at 7.15. Many planes went over and we could hear distinct gunfire. I, of course, was certain that Erdington would get it. I've been very busy both at the counter and in the office. Do you realise I've got to do Christmas orders next week? This has made things difficult, so I've not done all my buying for Christmas yet. It seems to me that next week will never come. I seem to go on and on, yet I'm no nearer having you and my home again. Do you feel like that? I suppose we shall be settled sooner or later. How do you feel? I suppose you're wanting to get up now. How's Anthony Simon? Tell him Anthony Hester is jealous of Anthony Simon's mother because he can have her all the time and Anthony Simon can't. Will you wish him a happy birthday? Because he's a week old now don't seem to have written a very good letter today, so I'll try to make up for it tomorrow when I see you. Ever so much love, Hester.